guys, welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. Today, we are going to read the comment of the week first, and then we're going to talk about it. So the comment of the week comes from Sincerely Sarah. Hi, Sincerely Sarah. Thank you for the comment. She says, I love your personality. Oh, thank you. She says, I have a question. How do you know if your Chihuahua puppy will be long or short hair? That is an excellent question, Sincerely Sarah, and thank you so much for asking. Some of you guys might remember Lilo. Hi, Lilo. We brought Lilo and her brother Stitch home from Germany about two years ago in 2018. And Lilo just had her second litter of puppies. So some of you guys might remember her litter that she had last December. We took her one little baby girl, Crystal, to my friend Angie's house in Philadelphia. And now little Lilo has just had another litter of puppies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So she had two this time, and there's a boy. This is the boy. I'm thinking of names. I don't know yet what I want to name him. Maybe you guys can give me some good suggestions. Oh, he's squeaking. So he's black and white. I was totally surprised. I couldn't believe that she had a black and white baby. She's chocolate and white, long coat. We're going to talk about the coats because we have to answer the question of the week. And here's the little girl. I also need to come up with an adorable name for her. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Mwah. And Lilo is such a good mommy. She's doing really good. She told me she was embarrassed to go on camera because she just got out of the hospital. But I think she looks beautiful. Lilo, don't she look beautiful? She's such a good mommy. I'm really proud of her. And she's just loving her babies and taking good care of them. Both of them are strong and doing well. So if you guys like these babies, we're going to be doing update videos probably once a week. And you guys can kind of watch them as they grow. So right now, Lilo, by the way, is a long coat. And the male that she bred with is also a long coat. His name is Blue. And he's Cream. Oh, hi, Margo. How did you get out? Oh, Lilo doesn't want company right now, Margo. You got to go downstairs. <laughs> Margo. Margo. No, Margo, no. I'm spending time with Lilo. I love you too, but I gotta Margo. spend time with Lilo. Somehow she got out. It's okay, Lilo. It's okay. Good girl. That's okay. She's going back downstairs. Lilo's not used to Margo because she lives at my affiliate Carol's house. And so she's used to being over there. But she's just here right now because she just had her babies. And I wanted to show them to you guys. To answer the question about how do you tell if your sweetie pie is going to be long coat or short coat? That's an excellent question. When they're first born, they all have about the same coat length. And actually, that's one way that you can tell whether or not your sweetie pie is born premature. If they're almost completely bald, then they haven't developed completely. But this right here, this, these puppies were born today. So they are one, not even one day old yet. And you can see the coat length here. Looks like a short coat, right? Ooh, I hear squeaking. Well, if you look closely, usually right around the neck area here, that's the very first place that you can start to tell that they're going to be a long coat. Their coat length here may be about the same length, you know, as a short coat would, but right around the neck area, that's when you're, you'll start to see it kind of puff out. And these guys are definitely going to be long coat. So they all start with short hair, and then slowly as they get older and older, by the time they're about two, three weeks old, you can tell that they're going to have long hair. And usually it gets longer and longer and longer, and they're really, really puffy by the time they're about eight weeks old, and they're so cute. Some of you guys might remember uh, my hamster that I had, and these are some of the stages that he went through. He was not very puffy at first, and then he just got puffier and puffier and puffier. And then they go through a stage, uh, it's called sort of the teenage awkward stage is what I call it, where they sort of lose some of their hair. Oh, I heard a squeak. And that's actually the stage that Sabrina's in right now. She's six months old and Sabrina is a long coat, but she looks almost like a short coat, except for maybe a little bit of long hair. Well, she's gonna get her adult coat once she reaches about a year, maybe a year and a half. It'll really start to come in and fill out and she'll have a lot around here and in her ears. I'll put some pictures of her siblings from her um, parents' previous litter so that you can see what she will probably look like when she gets older. She'll have her adult coat. 
So now you have it. I hope I answered your question. When you want to know if you have a long or short coat, you want to mostly look around this area of the neck. By the time they're about three, four weeks old, you should be able to tell everywhere whether or not it's uh, going to be, you know, fluffy or not. They'll get fluffier and fluffier, then they'll lose their coat, and then later their adult coat will come in and it will be long and luxurious, hopefully. Now there's also a double coat, and we will save that topic for another video. All right, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Lilo, you did so good.